Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, for those of you who haven't seen my videos, uh, my name is Alessia, and uh, I've been making videos for quite a while now. And the reason why I'm making this video right now is because I realized there is a huge audience out there, <laughs> and they've been requesting videos in English for a long time, especially on my Instagram, and I kind of decided to give it a try and make videos both in English and Russian, because I also have some people interested in my life in many places, so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, this is Kanye. If you don't know who Kanye is, what do you even know about life, seriously? Do you know life? Uh, in this video, I wanted to briefly introduce myself, how I got into NYU, why I'm living abroad, uh, why a 19-year-old girl lives abroad and makes videos. So yeah, this is like the topic for this video. If you're interesting, interested in hearing my story, stay with me and you can even give me a thumbs up because it makes me happy. A brief introduction. Uh, my name is Alessia. I'm 19 years old. I am 100% Russian was born and raised in Russia. I've been living abroad for three years now. I'm a junior at New York University, Shanghai. So as you know, NYU has campuses all over the world and um, it has three primary campuses in New York, Abu Dhabi and Shanghai. I'm a portal student in Shanghai, but I've been traveling quite a while because um, NYU offers the study abroad opportunities. And of course I took advantage of them. So, so this is my life. I'm based in Shanghai, but I travel a lot. Uh, last semester I went to New York and I'm actually considering going back because boohoo, New York is amazing and uh, I loved it so much. And uh, how I got into NYU with a full ride. Basically, um, I was 15 at the time uh, when I heard about NYU. Some representatives came to my school and they were like, Hey guys, there is an amazing school in Abu Dhabi. It's called NYU Abu Dhabi. Everybody gets a full ride, woohoo. And then they said, the acceptance ratio is one student out of 500. So like one to 500. I was like, mm -hmm, yeah, I have so many chances, guys. Well, <laughs> well um, nonetheless, I persisted. And uh, that's how I ended up here in NYU Shanghai. Not in NYU Abu Dhabi because I think it's harder to get into NYU Abu Dhabi and I probably should have taken SAT and some extra um, tests, but I didn't because I was lazy, I guess. So I got into NYU Shanghai and um, I've been, I was offered a full ride. So basically it means that they cover everything, uh, tuition, accommodation, insurance, uh, travel expenses, everything is covered. So this is cool. Um, and the only thing I did for that was actually filling out the CSS profile. For those of you who don't know what it is, um, it's um, an application that you fill out online and um, requires, you to f um, requires you to provide information about your financial status and basically how much money your family has. So if you're rich AF and you live in a mansion, they probably won't give you the money because you don't need it. But uh, they will consider you if uh, your family has um, in unstable income or if your family has no savings, all this information. Uh, like where do you live? How much you pay for taxes? Um, do you have like any luxuries and blah, blah, blah. So everything about your financial status is taken into account. And uh, I guess because I come from a simple family in Russia, my family is not rich. We are kind of middle class, especially compared to American kids. I come from a very, I would say, poor family. Maybe my academic performance was taken into consideration. I'm not sure. Um, but I think mostly they realized that I couldn't pay for my education. So they was like, take all money, take it all, take all of it. Yeah, basically it was like that. Now I live in Shanghai, I just got back from New York and actually I'm planning several trips, so stay tuned. Uh, there's gonna be awesome vlogs from amazing countries. I'm not gonna spoil everything right now, no spoilers, but just stay tuned. 
uh, and follow my Instagram if you don't know I have an amazing Instagram and all the links below and so I'm majoring in interactive media arts this is basically the intersection between computer science and um, arts but basically what I'm interested in is 3d modeling um, animation 3d animation virtual reality and uh, that's it yeah I'm very boring so everything that is related to virtual reality, um, 3D modeling, AR, AI, and all those cool abbreviations, yeah, I'm interested in that and I'm learning about it. Those of you who are interested, um, this is kind of like a daughter to ITP. ITP is another program at NYU New York. Um, yeah, you can check out my website, by the way. It, have, it hasn't been updated since last June, but... I promise you, I'm gonna update it soon, maybe like in a month, and you're gonna be saying, wow, that's fabulous. I'm interested in all kinds of sports. I'm into yoga, I'm into stretching, I'm into jogging. I do weightlifting, I weightlift like five times a week. Um, I'm into meditation. For quite a while now, I've been into philosophy, psychology, and everything that is related to human interaction into deep, profound self-analysis. I'm really into, you know, self-analyzing all, all of my thoughts, all of my deeds. I try to control my fear, control my emotions, control my attachment to people, control my um, inner challenges. Like, because we all have those minor insecurities that really hinder our life and sometimes we cannot control them and I really don't understand why people say like oh this is just a feeling I can't control it. it to me to my mind the ultimate goal of our life is to have control over our feelings because if you say I don't have control over them what can you even do in this life what are you doing on this planet if you can't even control yourself and it kind of hit me while I was here and while I was in New York because I made a video about New York but it was in Russian I'm probably gonna make um, an English version so basically yeah I'm in profound deep analysis and I think science branches helped me to get a better understanding of who I am why am I on this earth and what is my like what is my purpose in life so, and uh, as a side note I just want to recommend you one amazing philosopher Alan Watts. I'm gonna leave a link to all of his works and oh God, he's amazing. <laughs> I think NYU is an amazing school because you know, all schools are ranked um, and NYU is somewhere, I will leave a screenshot here. Um, so NYU is an amazing school. Like it's very expensive, but if you get in, you're never gonna regret it. You choose everything. They let, they let you select your major after you apply. They let you select all your classes. They let you switch your majors even um, when you're a sophomore. They let you do everything. Like the only, there are two rules. Don't cheat and don't do drugs. If you, do, if you don't do these things, you're gonna be okay. Even if your GPA is super low, you're kind of gonna be on probation, but then they will do everything to help you to to bring up your GPA to improve your performance academic performance basically you can go to Sydney you can go to Accra you can go to Berlin you can go to Buenos Aires you can go to London you can go to Abu Dhabi Shanghai Paris uh, Tel Aviv I'm already tired and uh, this is just an amazing place to be because they make you more open-minded and um, thinking person, they teach you how to think critically. We don't believe in status quo and we definitely are trying to self-improve and through self-improvement, we are trying to improve the world. That's like the ultimate goal of this school because every school has its goal. And why New York is not good for international students in that respect. Um, they provide some partial scholarships for um, US citizens, but they don't give a shit it about international students so if you're thinking about NYU definitely consider going to NYU Abu Dhabi or NYU Shanghai because these schools provide financial aid and they are more than willing to help you NYU New York does not 
care because they have enough students already. But Abu Dhabi has like 1,300 students. NYU, uh, NYU Shanghai has like 1,200 students. So it's, these are very small schools. It's kind of time for me to wrap up. If you have any questions, if you're, th if you're thinking, gosh, what is wrong with her? I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. I've, all the, I've left all the links below. Please feel free to check out everything I posted there. And uh, yeah, if you, if you feel like subscribing, please do. If, if not, well, that's your decision. I love you guys and bye-bye.